It is that time of the week again where we dive into the RTV6 vaults. In today's Throwback Thursday, we're looking back 40 years to a wild series of events that had the town of Speedway on edge. A six-day bombing spree rocked the town of Speedway in early September of 1978. It left two people seriously injured. It all started on September 1st when explosion, explosives went off at three different locations hidden inside trash cans. No one was hurt in those blasts, but a few days later, a bomb went off next to a parked Speedway police cruiser. Again, no injuries there. That changed on September 6th, however, when a gym bag blew up in the parking lot of Speedway High School. Several people were hurt, including Carl DeLong, who had to have his leg amputated. Despite the bombings, the people of Speedway didn't let it scare them. Are you kind of scared to be out with all these bomb threats? Oh, not really. Why not? Oh, they can go off anywhere and I you know, can get blown up as easy sitting at home. How old are you? 14. Are you scared of being out tonight? No. Why not? I'm just not. I just, you just can't be scared of everything all the time. I'm just not going to be scared. You're out tonight. Uh, I'm not too much being afraid. It's just some nuts, all I can say. I don't know what the man thinks he's gaining by it or whoever it is, but I hope they catch him sooner or later. Eventually, police arrested this man, Brett Kimberlin, the former Broad Ripple Businessman of the Year, denied the charges but went to trial in 1981. He was convicted by a jury of 12 and sentenced to 50 years in prison. He was released after serving 15 years behind bars and still maintains his innocence. You can see more of this story, including a sit-down interview with Kimberlin on our website. You can also find all of our other Throwback Thursday stories there as well. Just head to the IndyChannel.com slash history.